everybody Ann here, sitting here having my coffee with all of you. It's a very chilly morning, kind of foggy outside, but the sun is just now starting to come up. It's going to be a warm day, so i got to take advantage of that. I know it's probably boring, but I need to gather some more wood, and I don't know, I need to spend some more time communing with my chickens. Things just wouldn't be right without some puppy TV. Look at how big. That's Junior. Hey, Junior. What you doing? Oh, you want me to scratch your belly? <laughs> you want me to scratch your belly? Yes, you do. Oh, you're a good boy. Where's Sonny? Oh, Sonny's over there. <laughs> Look at you. Hey, Sonny, what's up, dude? Huh? Look at how much he looks like Papa. He's got the face coloring. He's got the white on his chest, white paws. This one here, they both have very different personalities. Sonny gets very pissy sometimes. If he wants to be left alone, you better leave him alone. I'm trying to get him to not be that way, but he sure loves to snuggle. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. Aww. Okay, I got a few choices here. There's that one right there that may be too rotten, the one that kind of goes up like that. There's that one, and there's a big pine behind it. Um, that's pretty big. It's going to fall over eventually. It's not dead yet. Before I do that one, I need to do that one. Um, I'm going to go take a look at that. And then there's also another little one right there I can do. And then there's that big one. See that one? That big one that has that other tree leaning on it. Um, I know that's a cedar. I think that's cedar, that little piece there. I'm not sure about that one. That's pine, and I don't know what that one is. So, um, I'm going to go have a look at all of them. I think I'm going to start small. Get my confidence up. Get this one. It's a little cedar. It's not very big. But I won't have to split it, and it'll give me some nice wood, and this is pretty dry. It's down. Yeah, I'm just going to pull it over the wagon, and on to the next. This one here, it's little. I may as well go ahead and get that one down. I don't know what kind of wood it is. It doesn't look like it's cedar to me, um, but it's small, so I can get that one down pretty quickly. I didn't even have to cut it. I just pulled it out. This is rotten down on this end, so I won't be able to use it, but... I'm just going to pull it out of this little <laughs> grouping here and cut it in a couple pieces and see what kind of wood it is and see whether or not it's rotten all the way through. doesn't feel like it up towards this end. Man, look at the size of that. Now, I think somebody had tried to cut it up. Yeah, cut this part. This part's on the ground. I've already kind of stomped on this and it is, um, it feels pretty rotten, but this up here, See that? <laughs> Just tipped over by the roots. This feels pretty solid. Y'all know what kind of wood this is? I don't know. Oh man, even a few slices of that would be cool. Yeah, it doesn't feel rotten at all. I don't know. Tell me what you think this is. Might as well cut this sucker in half. It'll be easier to drag down the hill. Yep, definitely not cedar. I don't know what it is. It's, it doesn't feel like poplar. It feels pretty gosh darn hard. So I know I'm going to be able to use at least some of this wood. I really do need to learn my trees and their bark because if I'm going to start harvesting some trees um, to plant mushrooms in them, I need to know because, for instance, you can't, you can't grow mushrooms in a cedar log, but you can in poplar. Uh, I think you can in oak. I'm not sure about pine, but I got to learn this stuff. So if you can recommend any good books out there to read, to learn about trees, please leave them in the comment section below. Hey, Papa. What's up, boy? That's my boy. I love you. He loves being out here with me. Nah, I don't think I'm going to bother with this one. It looks pretty rotten. Um, it's part of a larger tree that has fallen, so... I don't think I'd ever be able to burn that. I'd be afraid to. I'd be afraid there's bugs in it. Way down deep inside. 
Oh, and here's that other big one that I thought was pine. I think just because from far away, I was looking up at the greenery and it kind of looked like pine to me, but it's not. This is another cedar tree. So, and it's pretty big. I can't do this with my bow saw. If I had a chainsaw, I could. But here's the thing about this. It is actually holding this thing up off the ground. Um, and I would love to be able to cut up the rest of this right here, at least this part. And, um, oh my gosh, that's a big tree. But I'm going to have to get something way bigger than what I've got now. And, you know, a manual saw isn't going to cut it. This one, yeah, I'm thinking this one too. I don't think I am even going to try this with a bow saw. If I get a chainsaw, I will definitely try this. Wow, okay. Look at this. You see those little bugs? You know what those are? I think they're termites. Um, and I'm pretty sure, since they're on this side, I'm pretty sure they're coming from this piece of wood because it's pretty rotten. Oh yeah, see that? Look at that. That's not going anywhere near the tiny house, so i got to get this wood out of here and put it way far away. Then I've got to clean this out really well, make sure there's no buggies left in it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be in the cedar. I mean, termites will eat cedar if they absolutely have to, but um, this piece of wood right here, I'm going to really take a look at a lot. And that's the last thing I want to bring into the tiny house, that's for sure. Look at that boy over there. Just relaxing. Man, he is such a good dog. All right, I think this is where we're going to stop on this log. I don't know if you can see, coming in and out of those little holes there. Um, this is a piece that, well, it basically came out of the ground. Um, ants. This, the rest of this log is basically an ant hill, so I'm not going to bring that into the tiny house either. That's a cedar, and this, I don't know what this is. I mean, it doesn't smell like pine. It's hard. It took me longer to saw through this than it did the cedar, so it's, it's pretty hard. So tell me, you guys, what do you think this piece of wood is? I have no idea, but it'll burn. It's kind of funny, though. Most of the trees that I've been cutting up have already fallen or I just had to cut a little bit to get them to come down. It's almost like God is my tree trimmer. <laughs> God is my tree guy. <laughs> That's my wood haul for today. Could have been better, but I'll get more tomorrow. And all this stuff, all of it, I'm just going to load it into my little bags and take it directly into the tiny house because all of this is really very dry. I added a few more cedar logs. I threw in some poplar plenty of kindling. This that you see right here is enough to last me mm, two days of firing it twice a day in the morning and at bedtime or in the evening. But the good thing is, is it's going to be really warm for, well, today and the next few days. So I won't have to burn any wood, but I did collect some, so things kind of even out in the end. There's my egg haul for the day. Oh, puppies. What's the matter? Aww, I'll be coming in in just a minute. Anyway, two green ones, one really funky shaped one. Look at this. Yeah, all sorts of flaws in it. This is either from one of the new girls or it could be from Roxy if she's just started laying again. It is kind of a pointy egg, but yeah, look at that. Freaky. And then, of course, the eggzilla. <laughs> that Coco always lays. And then we've got a nice... Oh, that's not the nice one. <laughs> uh, I think this is a new girl egg. And then... This... I think that's a Roxy egg. To tell you the truth, she always laid eggs that were shaped like that. So, I don't know. Maybe that's... Miss Pris, and maybe that's one of the new girls, who knows. But, yeah, so I'm surprised that the chickens are laying this many eggs a day, and I usually get almost this many, anywhere from four to six a day. So that's great. I must be doing something right. I just got to get this inside and then go into town and then do the evening chicken tour stuff. 
Um, sorry I didn't get to spend any time with the chickens. I really apologize about that. But uh, I'm just glad I got me some more wood. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.